Good morning, Facebook Live. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Instagram. Hope everybody's having or will have an amazing day. It's pretty early in the morning right now. I don't know, it's about 7, 7 a.m. I'm getting ready to go for my daily run. Um, so I'm waiting for my Garmin watch to catch the satellite outside. So I had a few minutes. Figured I'd go live and talk about beer, IPA beer specifically, and the controversy on IPA beers. Um, so, uh, that is this quick little Facebook Live I'm going to do. I've been meaning to do this uh, live for a while um, because I think people need to understand a couple things about IPA beers, especially other restaurants need to understand this about IPA beers. So um, an IPA beer is also called an India Pale Ale. That's what IPA stands for. I happen to love IPAs. IPAs are my favorite style of beer. And um, that's because as a young chef, uh, living in Colorado, working in Colorado, uh, we'd go to the bar afterwards, uh, all of us cooks, and we would have a beer. And for me, being 21, 22, the easiest thing for me to pronounce in Colorado at the time was IPA. I was like, I'll take the IPA. You know, the other stuff was Hefeweizen and all these other beers. And I was like, well, I don't want to embarrass myself and pronounce a beer wrong. So, or Dubell or Tripel or Triple, right? So I said, I'll have an IPA. So IPAs was the first style of beer that I was introduced to. And so I just have fallen in love with IPAs along the way. If you notice something here at Aroma Time, people will get our beer list, which is an immense beer list. We've had over 200 different bottles of beer on our menu um, at many different times. Uh, we've shortened the list down a little bit because we want to um, really focus on beers that you can't go to the store and, and get. So our tap beers are really cool craft beers, um, hip craft beers, beers that are like, like the, that are one-time releases, this and that, and we change things, and we do some other really um, solid beers in the lineup, like the Black Hog Granola Nut Brown. Um, we always have something from Chatham, it seems like. So we always have a good, strong lineup on, on, on our taps. But in the bottles, we want you to go to the list and say, oh, wow, that's a 2010 Three Philosophers, or that's a barrel-aged um, brewery beer, uh, the brewery from California, that you can't get anymore. So that's why our bottle list is, uh, can can and package bottle list is, has evolved to like these really cool rare beers. But people always say, where's your IPA section in your bottled beers, in your bottle and canned beers? And I'm like, we really don't have an IPA section. And they're like, why don't you? So here's the controversy on IPAs. What makes an IPA an IPA is the hops, okay? Pale ale, extra hops. Now, IPAs were originally designed for, um, or the amount of hops in there, were originally designed as a preservative for the beer. So when you were in England, uh, I think in the 16, 1620s, 1630s, mid 1600s, early to mid 1600s, um, they were shipping beer to India for their military and they would take this, 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 this pale ale and throw an extreme amount of hops in there because hops have an antimicrobial, um, antimicrobial substance to it that prevents bacterial growth. So they would throw a ton of hops in there, the hops would make the voyage, the beer would make the voyage and the hops, and you'd have thus an India Pale Ale, a pale ale going to India, IPA, India Pale Ale. That's where the India part comes into IPAs. So this practice was used to boost the antimicrobial property and make this beer make its journey and make it, because um, there wasn't refrigeration back then, right? So make this beer perform and do its thing once it got to India on this long voyage. Well, now IPAs, they say that IPAs go bad. And it's not that IPAs go bad. So the, the, the beautiful thing about hops is, hops, have this, hops has this fragrant floral, um, these beautiful esters in it, these oils that, that, that make this beer palate explode, right? It's like, wow, this is like what hops do. It tastes like mango, like pineapple, uh, the floral, the citrus, all these things are happening in hops now. And you're like, wow, and all these cool hops, they've, they, they've either, um, um, importing or growing or hybridized, they, they make these extreme characteristics of beer. Now, those characteristics fade off extremely fast. Those, those esters, those oils, those, those components are very volatile. So it's not that an IPA goes bad, an IPA just doesn't perform like it should if you're drinking an older IPA. So no longer are the hops used for this quote unquote preservative, that was a thing of the past. Hops are now used for flavor. So if you're using hops for flavor, you're, the clock is ticking 
All right, so we just got these MC squareds in. We're almost done with the case. This just literally just came in. Um, these are not even a week old. Um, and if you notice on our list that you'll go through the, the printed list of our cans and bottles of IPAs. We don't really have that section on our menu. You go to some restaurants and they have like 10 or you look on their chalkboard and you have all these cans and bottles of IPA. I would personally never order a can or a bottle of IPA. I would want to order a can because it doesn't let the light in. Okay, light is one thing that, 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 start, that, that, that starts degrading the hop content, the hop, hop, hop uh, characteristics. I would only buy IPAs in a can. And I'd be very wary. I'd ask, actually ask, like, when did that come in? Um, how old is it? Because if you see a restaurant with all these, not just during the coronavirus, but during normal times, you see the whole list of, of IPAs on a chalkboard and a list, you've got to wonder how long those beers have been sitting around. Because a, a good IPA drinker knows, hey, fresh IPA, I'm going to the draft. I'm going to the draft lines for a fresh IPA. We always have two IPAs on draft. We have something about between five and six, six and a half percent alcohol. And then we have something that's a double, maybe 8%, eight percent, eight and a half percent. So we always have two types of IPAs on draft and they move pretty quickly and we keep them in small kegs. We keep them in sixtals, which are the small ones. Very rarely do we buy a 15 gallon keg. We do that in the summertime when we're busy because we know we can go through it. We like to order IPAs in our, our, our drafts for our draft lines and kegs every week is what we typically do. We'll order one to two new kegs of IPA. So we're always looking for something that's that's currently right off the production, that's super fresh, and that we're gonna go through really quick. So these MC squareds from Equilibrium, I mean, they're, they're here and they're gone, basically. I mean, that's, when you get Heady Topper, it's here and it's gone. Um, so we don't even print these printed on our list. These are something that, that are that printed on our specials. People see them and they grab them up like that. So. Um, this is probably the last four I have left out of the case of 24 that came in a few, a few days ago. And these came in and out of the distributor like that. Um, Pete from um, Equilibrium messaged me and said, Marcus, we just did a drop to Craft Beer Guild. Um, there's stuff in inventory. Grab something if you can. And, of course, we were able to grab something. So it, it was a really quick you know, acquisition, and then they're gone. So, folks, IPAs, if you're drinking IPAs, again... The dilemma with IPAs is I, the, the hops were originally used as a preservative, as antimicrobial content, back to, uh, antimicrobial effects of hops would make this trip in the early 1600s, early to mid 1600s, from England, from the UK, to India, India to their troops, thus India Pale Ale. Nowadays, you don't use hops as a preservative, you use hops as a flavor enhancer. So when they say, oh, that IPA is bad, the IPA is not bad. It's just not, it doesn't have those, those fresh characteristics. Um, some experts say three weeks max. Three weeks max for an, IP, a, a, an IPA that has all these great characteristics. Um, and that's it, the hops start diminishing. So um, look for fresh IPAs, look for stuff that's on draft. Look, don't look, don't go to, don't go to a restaurant that's bottle or beer, um, unless you know enough like, oh, that beer was just brewed and it's, and that's super fresh, and yep, yeah, and I can do it. Folks, there is a difference on this beer. There totally is a difference. Um, if you drink an IPA that is two months old versus an IPA that's two days old, with all those cool hops that they're, they have out now, and the, the expression, the extraction of all these very delicate, volatile flavors, the citrus, the, the, um, the, 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 the citrus in there, the tropical fruits, all that world of difference. So that's the scoop on IPAs and why you want a fresh IPA. If you like this video, please um, uh, throw up the like button, hit the like button, hit the heart button, make a comment, drop a comment, share it, and hopefully this helps you pick a better IPA the next time you go to a restaurant. Whether the coronavirus is happening or not, um, whether it helps you pick a, uh, just a better IPA in general. So if you go to a beer store and you pick up IPAs off the store and there's dust on them, you might want to take a second um, second look at that. Some IPAs will have a born on date. They'll tell you. They'll tell you. Some breweries are very strict about this, and like they want to make sure that their kegs are are getting rotated through. And this, the reason this happened to me was because years ago, um, I was buying Oscar Blues Gubna, the Gubna IPA, and the sales rep came in. And we were going through the beer list, and he goes, Marcus, these are old. I'm like, what do you mean these are old? These are like three, I got these three months ago. He goes, no, no, he goes, these are old. Don't, don't, don't serve these. Do not serve these beers. And the beer distributor actually bought the beers back from me because they didn't want 
beer that was that old, and maybe it was three months, maybe it was four months, I'm not sure exactly, but it was, they were like, no, no, we don't want you to serve those beers. Those are not fresh IPAs. So I learned, that's how I originally learned this. I'm like, really? I'm like, so yeah, this was years and years ago. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. And uh, drop a comment, ask a question, uh, hit the like button. If you're watching live, hashtag live. If not, hashtag replay on the replay. And I'm out of here till the next Facebook Live.